everyone, it's me again. Today's topic will be how to talk to us. Well, first of all, and most importantly, please talk to us directly, not to the people who accompany us. Uh, in the majority of cases, we only can see. I mean, we are perfectly capable to think, to make our choices, to participate, to express our opinions. So please talk to us, not to our husband, to our parents, to our brother and sister and so on. Uh, secondly, um, wh when you talk to us, uh, keep in mind that we can't uh, use the, the skill that we used to use before, if we had our sight, obviously, to read from the lips of the person that speaks. Because sometimes if there are many conversations going on or if there's a loud music, you can understand conversation this way. Well, we don't get this information anymore. So if possible, please don't put too loud music when, when, when we are with you, because this can completely isolate us from, from everyone else. And then there's another thing, I don't know what my, what my friends would say, but I definitely don't want to have doctor's appointment for free. What do I mean with this? I find it a really bad taste that when I appear somewhere that sometimes even people that I have never met before come and ask Hey, and what happened to you? Uh, how much can you see? And why, why did you lose your sight? I mean, I, I don't ask about your colitis or about your infections of kidney and well, I, I am I'm not only a case of a person that is visually uh, uh, disabled, I'm also a woman, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, a sister, and so on. So it's really very or inappropriate to open this topic unless we, we start to speak about it. And besides, I don't think you're such an, so such experts that you could tell if someone is depressed about the situation. And if, if it happens, I think it's, it, it helps us a lot if, if we at least for some time could forget about it. But if someone makes this kind of question, obviously we're pushed into this situation, so please don't ask these kind of questions. And then there are some other things. Uh, we use the normal words like uh, see, um, see you there, watch the movies. Yes, believe it or not, we do watch the movies. There exist even movies for blind people and they're like, uh, I'll, t I'll talk about this in some other video. But they're very descriptive, for example, uh, there's a beach, there's a palm tree, suddenly appears a white boat, uh, with all the description we need. Or we can also watch regular TV programs, uh, and w w but we have to really focus well to, to try to understand what's going on. So please use these expressions, because it, it makes us even more uncomfortable if you are looking for other words to, to replace them, so use them without any problem. And well, there's um, there, there are other <laughs> situations also. I I happen to be in a, in one party that is called Posada here in Mexico, and it's a it's a, it's a celebration in December. And it just happened that we were invited with with the neighbors that we we never spent time with. So it was Diego, my daughter, and me, and unknown people. And my daughter and Diego went out to to see something. I don't know what. And then people were passing by and asking and offering me food, this and that. But since there was a big group of people, I didn't know if they're talking to me or not. And no one asked me what my name was, so they didn't use my name when they were referring to me. And they would just pass by and they would ask, would you like to have this? Or, and I didn't even answer yes or no, because I didn't know if they were talking to me. So if you happen to coincide with a person that can't see and you don't know the person's name, well, in my case, I wouldn't mind if you touch my arm between the elbow and shoulder and say, uh, excuse me, would you like to have this or something, no? And then I would tell you, oh, oh yes, please. And by the way, my name is Jana, no? If you want to tell me something, please use my name so I know you're talking to me because I can't see. Because believe it or not, if you come to a big group of people, not everyone will notice that you can't see. And or uh, a friend of mine to, uh, today, told me what I could do in this case. He just says, said, you know what? If it happens to you next time, po uh, point with your finger to, to your chest and ask, uh, excuse me, did you talk to me? And then the person would know that, that you didn't uh, understand that they were referring to you and you could figure out the situation. Uh, so please, if 
if uh, you are a visually disabled person, well, keep in mind that, that people around you are not on purpose making your life hard because honestly, before I got this condition, I didn't know many of these things. Or if I'm completely honest, I didn't know anything about it. So they are not trained to, to, to know how exactly they can help us out, how, how exactly they could make things easier for us. So in my experience and in my opinion, what, what helps the best is if you, that you are disabled, let the people around you know how is the best way to help you out. Um, if you have any other experience, uh, any other issues in conversations with other, with sighted people, please leave the comment down there. We can, we can talk about it in some other video. And if not, I hope there was any tip that would be useful for you. See you here next Thursday. Bye!